Hello friends, welcome to this channel. Today we are going to see how to connect Python to a SQL Server. So, 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 so we, we are going to uh, read a JSON uh, object and uh, we are going to insert into a SQL Server using a stored procedure. So, so here is the agenda. So the first step is like we are going to see like uh, from Python how we are going to make an SQL connection using PyODBC. So this is so this is the first step and the second step is uh, we are going to call a SQL procedure to insert some records uh, to the database uh, without any parameters. And the third step like um, we are going to read uh, some JSON object and pass the JSON string to a SQL procedure and we are going to check whether it's going to insert in the database and later we are going to proceed one step further instead of reading from a json object um, hard -coded, instead of reading from a hard coded value we are going to read from a json file and uh, we are going to pass the json uh, string to an sql uh, sql procedure and see uh, whether it's getting inserted in the database and even uh, as just like a one additional thing like uh, if there are if the json has like um, some uh, other other characters like foreign characters like a chinese or hindi instead of english like uh, what is the minor change that we need to do uh, to insert into the database so so that also so these are things we are going to cover uh, in this video i i hope this uh, this though this is a very uh, short video like uh, it's going to be uh, excited i'm i'm really excited about it so 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 this is a python file like uh, sqldb.py is the python file which i have created already uh, just to save some time so the basic code is there we are going to add some more codes in this so uh, for for your information i'm using visual studio code as the editor uh, in case if you people are comfort comfortable with uh, other editors like uh, you can use any of the editors like uh, jupyter or pycharm or like uh, whatever it is so the code is like almost going to be the same okay so 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 this is the python file where we have written like i've written some uh, code to connect to the database so before we get into this like uh, i'll go and show you uh, the sql server i've created a small procedure i've created a table and a small procedure so so here it is like the procedure name is uh, prc insert employees and the table which i've created is like a, it's a table tbl employee so if, you, if i just query this like uh, the, the table is not having any uh, records currently uh, it has uh, five columns employee id which is a primary id column and it's auto generated one uh, whereas like our remaining four columns we are going to insert there is a name column city department and gender so so here is the procedure it's a it's a very simple straightforward procedure i'm just uh, trying to insert one record uh, using this procedure uh, which is which is a hard coded at the moment uh, we later we are going to uh, update this procedure like uh, we are going to take uh, uh, values from the python and uh, records from the python and uh, insert into the database so 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 quick quickly let's check whether uh, this procedure is working i'm just going to execute this i'm pressing f5 yeah it has inserted a record let's see uh, let's see the result quickly so yes it's inserted so i'm just going to uh, truncate this again because we are going to call this procedure and uh, verify from python right now so moving back to the visual studio code so so here is the code like uh, so so i'm so the for the whole exercise like i'm using two libraries one is called py odbc uh, uh, which is used for connecting to a SQL server. So this is required, like we have to in, uh, import by ODBC. And uh, second thing is like uh, later, um, we, we are going to just add some more codes, read some JSON data. Uh, for that, we need uh, import JSON. Like, uh, so these are the two um, libraries we need. So first we will be creating a, a connection object. Like uh, for that, the syntax is by connect, And here we need to pass the uh, connection string uh, so in my in my case like the sql server is a windows authentication so that's why uh, we have the driver server and the trusted connection as yes uh, if you're having a sql server authentication uh, probably you should give the user a user id and password and uh, just doing a few settings like uh, keeping the timeout as 60 and uh, auto commit as true and uh, 
and moving on to here like uh, just to execute the we, we are going to see how we are going to ex execute a procedure like uh, this is the procedure we uh, saw at the beginning like um, we are seeing insert employees so for that we need to um, create a cursor object like uh, which is present inside the connection object so yeah, when we say connection dot cursor like we create a cursor object and in the cursor object we have a execute method where we can give uh, SQL statements directly we can give select star from or insert into or we can run a procedure directly using uh, exec followed by the procedure name so initially uh, first we are going to execute a procedure without any parameters later we are going to progress uh, by passing a json object so for now like um, we are just calling this procedure without any parameter so i've now i've just put it in a try catch block like uh, there is some exception handling is there and then finally um so so if it is successful like once it is successful it will print the uh, the statement as inserted data and then finally we, we are closing the connection so after that i'm just written as close db connection so the program is very simple even the execution when i run this program it will execute very fast so we'll just cross check one time like um, if i do select to this since i truncated this table uh, we will not find any records here at the moment so so the code is all set up we are going to run execute this procedure and uh, since we are hard coded in the procedure so it will insert the record like uh, as like name as him rahul city as bangalore and department as cricket and gender as male so we'll quickly check that so the command to run the python uh, file is like a python space uh, followed by the name of the file which is uh, sql db.py so i'm just going to hit enter here and um, let's see okay it, quick, it quickly it, it is um, pretty fast because like it's a very simple program straightforward one it insert a data and close db connection so let's go and verify uh, the data now so if i do a select here yes it has got inserted successfully so so now like uh, we we made the connection to the sql using by odbc object and even we called uh, the procedure without any parameters so from our agenda we have completed two steps now we are going to move to the third uh, step the, uh, which is like a reading a json object and uh, pass json string to the sql procedure and we are going to check now so 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 before that i'll just truncate this uh, data uh, let's truncate and uh, make sure like there are there are no data in the database okay so this ready so now um, we are just uh, we are going to have a json object so just keep this ready uh, so just a piece of i'm just copying a piece of code to save the time so so this is the code for initializing uh, json object so here what we are doing is like we have a, a variable where we initialize some json data which uh, which matches exactly to our uh, sql server table we have a name city department and gender so here there are four records and um, yeah so this is the json data and um, yeah once we have the data so probably we need, we need to uh, yeah convert the json object convert the json object to a, a json string actually so the command to do it is like a json like from the json library we'll get the json object json dot dumps this is a method which will convert the json object to a json string and uh, i'll just comment this line and i'm just going to uncomment this line so so now we are going to pass this json json object uh, whatever we have we are going to convert into a json string and that we are going to pass as a variable here but uh, before that uh, we need to just change quickly edit our procedure so i have the procedure ready with the parameter so so it includes one um, variable called uh, json variable which is like which is of uh, i think i should have small mistake like later so it's a it's a inverse care max and i'm going to execute this procedure now instead of hard coding uh, 
with the insert statement which i had earlier so now we need to write a modify the procedure to read from the json so here our json string will come from the python code so 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 this is the code to read from the json and then convert to a column different column so in the json we'll have we have a name object we have city department gender so we should it's similar to a table where only difference is like open json a keyword is there so we need to write a name so this name whatever i've written here it should match here so we should say select uh, from open json this json variable and then this is the name of the object that is coming inside the json um, uh, string actually so that we are mapping to this uh, columns and this columns we are taking over here so this is just a select but finally the result we are going to insert in the table which we have already created so it's as simple as that so now what we are dealing is the json structure is a straightforward one like it's it has only one level sometimes you'll have multiple levels that also we can uh, handle here uh, if there are multiple levels like if it is inside another level like okay, if the le next level is if it is info we should give us info.name so probably i'll make another video uh, for how to handle uh, complex um, json and insert to a database so for now the procedure is ready which will get um, uh, uh, which will get the data in a json uh, structure uh, json uh, as a json string and then insert so so this this way like we can insert this will help us to insert multiple records in a uh, single uh, single call of a procedure otherwise like if you have to import um, we have to import uh, four records like uh, generally as a beginner uh, we usually have, have a habit of inserting record one by record one record at a time so we need to make four calls or five calls so now we are just uh, since it's a json structure it will help us to convert it into a string and uh, pass it to a store procedure uh, at one stretch we will be calling the procedure only once and uh, we'll insert into a database so the procedure is ready and also we have um, already uh, did make the change like we are reading we have initialized um, json option json variable and then object and then that we are converting into a string so so that string we are going to pass as a variable to the procedure so everything is all set so now uh, we are going to run this uh, python program so it is inserted uh, let's quickly go and check in the database uh, whether all the four records have got inserted yes it has got inserted successfully so so so, so it's, it's really good so we have uh, even even you can notice like uh, when we read from an object uh, if we have uh, different um, uh, languages like hindi or even chinese characters it gets inserted but uh, when we uh, now we are going to do one more exercise we are going to read the json from a file so at that time we'll have a small issue so which we need to correct it so so far we have completed three steps in our agenda so so good job so one more time like i'm going to uh, truncate this table and this time like um, i'm going to comment this uh, uh, comment this like uh, instead of hard coding it from a, a variable like we have hard coded the json like uh, so instead i'm going to the next uh, step is to like um, we need to read this data from a file so i've created a json file already uh, so it's employee.json so the so that content is almost the same like what we had here so we can just copy this content so only thing is we are going to read this json here so just to make sure like um, i'll just add uh, one more record over here so this time i'll keep it as like uh, uh, suresh and then he belongs to Kolkata, Kolkata, and he belongs to digital marketing. Okay, so he's a mate. So we have our five records this time. So instead of like uh, reading from here, we need to write some code uh, which will read from the file. So I have that uh, piece of it's just a. Uh, it's very simple. We need to. Uh, remove this for the time being like uh, 
So, so, so what we are doing is like we are opening the file which is employee.json as uh, in a read mode and then that uh, also and when it reads it, it will have in this object. So that we are going to load and finally convert into a JSON object. So that so once we do that, the JSON object again we are going to convert as a string. So since there is a in uh, like a, some space like Python is um, it's very sensitive like we need to stay, maintain the indents so i'm just going to move one step inside okay so so we are all done so let's quickly see uh, whether it's reading from uh it's reading from the json file and uh, and passing it's going to convert to a json first it's going to convert to a json object then as a string and then as a we are going to pass the json string to the procedure so 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 we'll quickly run this program uh, okay so so when i run this program like uh, so we got into some error because like it's uh, it couldn't can read the unicode uh, because like our json file has some uh, uh, like special characters like chinese characters and hindi like uh, so we should add for this we should add uh, this additional parameter we should convert uh, while reading from json as a utf8 so which will handle that so any any so any time like if you want to read other other characters unicode characters we need to add uh, this encoding as utf8 so now if i run this program so it has got inserted successfully so if i go and check this like um, it has inserted five records so 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 it's pretty much um, that's it like um, so just to have a summary of what we have done like um, we have written a python program to make an sql connection using py odbc library and next like uh, to understand the sql connection like uh, we written a store procedure which uh, called which which uh, like uh, the python program calls a procedure to insert records without any parameter so first we saw a hard coded um, insert statement in the sql procedure and then uh, we converted um, we we initialize some json object and uh, then convert to a json string pass to the sql procedure as a one of the parameter and inserted multiple records then uh, we increase the complexity a little more by uh, instead of reading a hard coded json object we in, uh, read a json file and uh, passed as a json uh, string to the SQL procedure and finally like uh, we even managed to pass like uh, some special characters like Chinese characters and also Hindi characters and uh, we could successfully insert into a SQL if the video is really useful like uh, please like this video and also leave your comments uh, so that like we can improve this video and uh, make sure like uh, you subscribe to this channel uh, so that like you don't miss out any further videos in the future thank you very much for watching this video Love you all. Bye.